Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to multiply a trinomial by a binomial. So a trinomial is an expression with three terms and we're multiplying it by a binomial with two terms. Okay, so the best way to do this then is to start off with the first term and multiply it by the terms, two terms in the second bracket. So if we do 3x squared times 2x, first of all, that would be 6x cubed. And then do 3x squared times 1, which is 3x squared. Then we move to our second term, which is the 2x. And if we multiply the 2x by both terms in the second bracket, so if we do 2x times 2x, that is a 4x squared. Then do 2x times the 1, which is 2x. So finally, we just move to our final term of our trinomial, which is the 5. And if we do the same again, so we do 5 times the 2x, which is 10x, and 5 times the 1, which is 5. So all we need to do now is simplify this expression. So we haven't got any x cubed terms to simplify. So we can simplify the x squared terms to give us 7x squared. And we can simplify these x's to give us 12x. And we've got no numbers to simplify, so just copy that down to the final line. And that is our final answer. So let's move on to example two then. So this time we've got to multiply 4y squared minus 3y minus 2 by y minus 5. So like example one, start with your first term, the 4y squared. And if we multiply that by the y, so that will give 4y cubed. Then multiply the 4y squared by the minus 5 which is minus 20y squared. Then move to the second term of the trinomial, which is a minus 3y, and multiply that by the y, first of all, which is a minus 3y squared. Then multiply the minus 3y by the minus 5, which is plus 15y. And then move to your final term of the trinomial, which is minus 2. And do minus 2 times y, which is minus 2y. And do minus 2 times minus 5, which is plus 10. So all we've got to do now then is simplify this expression. So we've only got one y cubed term, so just copy that down. So then we can simplify the y squared. So minus 20y squared minus 3y squared is minus 23y squared. Um, the y terms also simplify. So that will give me 13y. And we've got no numbers to simplify, so just copy that down to the final line. And that is your final answer. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.